hey guys welcome back to the channel so today we have another shop talk video and today's topic is going to be keeping your cool when a repair doesn't go the right way and you wind up opening up a can of worms now this exact thing happened to me just now and I am taking a little bit of a break and I'm gonna make this video and I'll show you guys uh, what I do to keep my cool and you know just to keep calm when things don't go my way when it comes to a repair and I run into some issues with a vehicle but before we go ahead and talk about this topic guys if you guys haven't subscribe to the channel hit the subscribe button down below and definitely smash that like button guys it'll help me out and the channel out so with that said let's go ahead and get into today's topic so today's topic is inspired by something that's happening right now in the shop guys um, i had to walk away from a job and just take a couple minutes and uh, you know just kind of reassess everything because you know I w something happened that I wasn't expecting now I'm from you know Illinois we are in the rust belt I deal with rusted bolts and fasteners all day long uh, I've pretty much made peace with that fact that you know every car that I work on I'm gonna fight some sort of nut or bolt unless the car is practically a couple years old and hasn't seen a lot of uh, winters out here or the salt uh, usage that we use but uh, either way um, I have this Jeep in here uh, just came in to replace the oil pan on the transmission uh, it just rotted out it was leaking and now even though the transmission pan was rotted out uh, typically you know the bolts that hold it in I'm able to take off sometimes they fight you but they they're usually pretty good about it and uh, in this scenario uh, this thing came in and you know bolts that they do have a tendency to snap but I haven't had one snap on me in a while so I guess they just caught me off guard and it kind of triggered me and you know I just kind of you know had to walk away from it because I was like you know to, for lack of better words I was getting upset I was like why why today out of all days you know stuff like that um, now the whole thing that I like to do with this guys whenever I have a car that's in here that's busting my chops and it doesn't want to you know quite uh, work out or do whatever you know I'm supposed to do the easy way and it wants to fight me on it um, I have a tendency that if I get frustrated I just walk away and give myself a couple minutes I go you know grab a water grab a coffee just walk around you know kind of take your mind off of what is happening with that particular item and give yourself a couple minutes just to cool down um, this will actually work in a lot of things and I figure this out the you know the hard way uh, in life guys uh, whenever you're you know in a situation and you know there's a lot of pressure or you find yourself in a moment where you're either aggravated or angry or argumentative or any of that thing only any of those things you know to be able to walk away and reassess and cool down and just breathe will usually get your mind to a different state and you know put it more into a logical way of thinking because uh, I know I've made a lot of mistakes when let's say uh, I've been working on a car and you know let's say a bolt snaps and I'm like oh I'm gonna go grab the torch I'm gonna torch this thing off and I wind up making more of a mess and more of a headache for myself than I should have because I didn't take that five minutes to step back rethink something reassess it and then be able to you know plan better based on the reassessment you know if you just do that quick snap decision uh, sometimes you know it's not the the more uh, likely decision that you would have picked if you had just taken a couple minutes now just to kind of give you guys an idea um, this is what kind of triggered me today we have these uh, transmission bolts uh, and you guys will clearly see here that uh, this head just came off of this bolt and this transmission uses these little silly retainers these were actually uh, stuck on this stud and um, you know my whole initial idea guys uh, because like I said even though I've dealt with these and this is a very uh, common failure um, I haven't had one snap on me in a while um, and I want to say in excess of a couple years now usually uh, I work them pretty good and I don't have any issues and um, you know this one just wound up breaking and for a split second it caught me off guard and my immediate reaction was oh I'm gonna go and just grab my hammer and I'm gonna start tapping it out and then I kind of stepped back for a second I was like you know what let's take a quick break you know went up front I grabbed some water and then uh, you know I reassessed it and I was able to uh, get them off now I will have a separate video on that showing uh, how I took them off during the repair and a separate video that just focuses on how to extract them out and to be honest with you guys if I had made a big fuss uh, over w what had happened um, I would have done myself an injustice because once I cooled down and I went back on the car I just found that a little bit of heat and you know a couple of wrenches and some stud extractors and you know everything came off and it was actually easy it wasn't as bad as I even anticipated 
Uh, so, you know, that right there was uh, a good thing for me. So I can't complain about it. So, you know, my day, even though it got a little aggravating, it, you know, calmed down as quick as it uh, got up there. Um, typically, stuff like this doesn't really affect me. Uh, I mean, I, I deal with this stuff day in, day out, guys. It's not really a surprise to me. But for some reason, like I said, today was just, you know, just one of those days that, uh, you know, you get every once in a while. Uh, it just kind of got me pissed off. And, you know, here I am. You know, this is my... Uh, I guess I can say my cooldown moment right here, even though uh, I already took a previous cooldown and was able to uh, take care of the issue. Um, but my whole uh, extent here is, guys, if you're working as a mechanic, um, you know, I've worked with a lot of guys that, you know, they, let's say, hit their finger. Now, I can understand if you're trying to break a bolt off and you wind up smashing your finger or your hand, you're going to be swearing, you're going to be upset, you, you know, might throw a wrench or two or whatever it is in your hand at that time. That I can understand because sometimes uh, physical pain can make you react in ways that, you know, um, you, you don't expect. But when it comes down to just being frustrated and people start throwing wrenches and hissy fits, and I've been in shops, guys, where we had a mechanic, if anything went south, he would just start crying and, you know, and we're not crying to the literal sense like, uh -huh, give me a tissue, but crying to the point where like, why this? And like, you know, just start badgering, uh, swearing, you know, throwing tools, um, just kind of overall in the shop, just grunting like, ah, uh, you know, and it's just, it makes for a really like, bad day when that happens just not for him but for everyone because you know typically if you have one guy in the shop that's always you know i guess you can say uh the sissy or whatever you want to call it um you know it, it drags down the whole shop because if let's say uh they slip on the wrench they bust their hand or their finger and it winds up hurting like i've been there guys it's not fun it hurts i know you might just be like ah oh, you know that hurts this and that but i don't see the fact why you should be like ah and start screaming in the whole shop uh, because what's going to happen is if you got 10 techs working there and one guy just, you know, let's say hit his finger and it's not even a, an actual hit. It's just it hurts for that split second. Um, right now, you just got 10 techs stopping what they're doing, either looking at you or coming up to you and be like, hey, what's going on? Are you all right? You know, it just it kills the day or, you know, someone may be in the middle of a job where they're hanging an engine or transmission over their head and they're about to put the bolt in to hold it in place. And here comes someone that just grunting and screaming and throwing wrenches uh, causes them to not pay attention to what they're doing that could possibly cause an accident. Um, now, that is a true story that actually did happen in the shop where we had two techs. Um, they were putting in an engine. They were supposed to be coordinating with each other. Uh, some tech on the other end of the shop, uh, I guess, you know, threw a hissy fit, started throwing wrenches and screaming. And the guys that were supposed to be uh, lining up this engine, they wound up, you know, in a split second. The guy uh, moving the engine got panicked and wound up slipping off the jack and almost, you know, fell on the other tech. It was just, it, it was a horrible nightmare. Uh, luckily, no one was hurt, but, uh, you know, I've learned from situations like that. If you ever run into an issue, and this is the best advice I could give anyone, guys. This doesn't just go for being a mechanic and automotive. Like I said, it goes for everything. Whether you're having an argument with someone or you're pissed off because the job goes, you know, south or it gives you more of an issue than you weren't expecting. Um, you know, just take that five minutes, walk away, grab a water, get something to eat, grab a snack, like whatever it is that you do. Um, and, you know, just take that little chill break. Uh, come back and don't go working on it right away kind of assess the situation and figure out what methods and what ways you can use to basically fix your issue and from those methods whether you got one or 20 of them pick out the best one that you feel will work for you and then just keep knocking on down the list uh, you know it's as simple as that i mean there's more than one way to do something um, if it doesn't come off using the factory bolt head because it snapped off, well, you know, we have other tools that can get stuff off. So, you know, no need to stress it. It's just uh, how, how it is, guys. So, uh, anyway, that's pretty much the topic that, uh, you know, I wanted to mention today, guys. Is just keeping your cool and, you know, reassessing stuff. Uh, it'll help you in the long run and it'll, you know, cause you to stress less. So, Hopefully you guys found this video, uh, you know, interesting. Uh, I would love to hear what you guys have to say about this, especially you guys that have worked at shops. Uh, so feel free to comment uh, down below, guys. Uh, just, you know, want to get your input. So uh, with that said, uh, comment, like, and subscribe. Definitely help the channel grow. Hope you guys have a wonderful day, and I'll catch you guys on the next video.